morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Green Valley Parkinson's Support Group Exercise Class. And welcome to you online on YouTube. If it's your first time, you're going to need a straight back chair, one without arms, and a pair of light hand weights. A tennis ball, a larger ball, and a good attitude, but you wouldn't be here if you didn't have a good attitude. And some water. It's about a 45 minute class. And we start in a seated position. We stand and we work on balance and stretching. And then we have a little cardio and then we come back into the chair for cool down. So before we get started, make sure you have all those things and that you have room to extend your arms once you put hand weights in it. Hey, I saw that. You're gonna be walking home. <laughs> all right. So please have a seat in your chair and place your feet flat on the floor, allowing space behind you so you're not supported by the back of the chair, working on good posture. Uh, we're gonna be loud this morning, so arms over as, as you inhale through the nose. Laugh it out. <laughs> Again. <laughs> One more. No. <laughs> what a great way to start. All right. Placing those hands back on your workbench, your thighs. Drop the chin forward, relaxing the shoulders. And then lift the head, relaxing the jaw and looking up. Focus forward, turning now just the head to the side, drop the chin and nod at each other. <laughs> and then to the other side, same thing. Drop the chin up and down, looking forward, roll the shoulders. This is just warm up. I have no idea what you've done this morning. Change direction, good. And then some shoulder shrugs as high as you can lift them. Good. And now extend the arms. Relaxing the shoulders, move the fingers, good. And then stretch them out, tapping each finger to the thumb, scratching something, and then squeezing hard. Relax at that soft hand, circle one, two, two three, three, that's your cue, four, four five, five, reverse it, five, five four, three, three two, two, one. So big circles, please don't hit anyone or anything. Yeah, big circles. And then the other way. Let's keep those arms reaching up to the ceiling. It's one, one and, and two and three. Reach higher. And four. One and more. Five and extend them to the side. The fingers spread apart. It's a flexed hand. Bring it in and One, out. Two, two three, three, four, four five. five. Let them rest on the chair. Bend one for a side stretch. Good. And then let's go to the other side. Cross them, twisting, looking at something behind you. And then to the other side. Focus forward, the arms uncross, the hands are here. Working on shifting weight and still balanced in the chair. So shift to one side, lift the other one up off that seat. Three, two, two and, and three, three and, and four and one more. Five, and we take it into a march. Sitting tall, the arms moving, those knees lifting, lots of smiles going on. TGIF, okay? <laughs> awesome, so, yeah. And then slowly bring it back to that starting position. Sit tall, the arms dropped, and it's some heel taps with a flex foot and a straight leg, alternating right and left. Two. And He's on it. Three. three. And, and four. And, and one more. Five. five. And, and come back to this position. Rock onto the ball of the foot and the heel. Back and forth. Working your ankles. Jim, it's nice to have you back with us. Yeah. 
One up, one down. Good. And we come back to this position. Still, make sure that you have that room <coughs> behind you. We're going to grab some hand weights. We're going to work on upper body strength. So what you choose to work with as far as hand weights, make sure that they are heavy enough to challenge your muscles, but light enough not to compromise your position. So sit tall, focus forward as we do a bicep curl. One, One two, two, let's hear it. Three, what? Four, all right then. Five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, nine, nine. Ten. They come to rest, maybe stretch and shrug their shoulders, take a deeper breath. Once again, sit tall, look forward, and raise them up. One, One, one two, two, three, four, good, five, six, six I love it, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, ten. ten. Oh, keep them. <coughs> They're dropped to the outside of those chair legs. Lift one, the elbow tucked to the back. Focus on something in front of you as you try to find the floor, Dennis. Where is it? There it is. All right. Come up and then to the other side. We call this waste management. <laughs> All right. And come up, drop them, and rotate arms and shoulders, weights and hand forward and then pull them back, pinching the shoulder blades together. Yeah, perfect. And back to this position. Um, let's alleviate one, put it on the floor somewhere out of your way. And with this, both hands wrapped. Arms overhead, the shoulders somewhat relaxed. We're gonna drop it to the back for an extension. It's one, up. Two, two, three. Where are you looking? Four. Front. Five, six, six, beautiful, seven, seven eight, nine, nine ten. ten. It comes to rest as you stretch and breathe. Again, they're wrapped straight up. Drop it to the back, chin off your chest, and One, it's up. Two, two good, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's put that one down too. On the floor, bringing our feet together, maybe the knees touching, a little adjustment perhaps in the chair, still a lot of room back there. The arms crossed, extend both legs, the feet maybe touching, lift them up and flex point. Two, two three, three, four, four good, five. five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Keep them off the floor if you can. Heels touch and the toes out One, in. Two, two three, good. Four. Reverse five, it. Heels nine, out, in, two, out, in. Three, four, five. And they come down. And again, the arms are still crossed. We're going to do some leg scissors. So they go out, don't look down, look forward, lift them up, and it's out and in. Two, three, four, five, good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they come to, these are really slippery pants. Like almost, that's not good. All right. Again, extend them out for flutters, up and down. One, two, two I'm not kidding. Three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. And they come to rest, separate the feet, uncross the arms. And we're going to lace the fingers together, shifting some of this weight to one side. As you lift this, the hands just below the knee. Lift it up as high as you can, and then circle one, two, two working angles, three, four, four, five, five good, the other way, five, five four, four, three, two, one. one. Placing it right back to that starting position, shift to the other side, lift it up, one, one two, two, good, three, three four, four, five, the other way, five, four, three, two, one. one. And here, extending a leg, 
sliding the foot on the floor until it cannot go any longer, any further. And this is a straight leg. The hands cradling the knee, sit tall, sliding down toward that foot, dropping into the stretch, drop the head, take a deep breath, and come up. Bring it in, the other one extends, those hands slide down, drop the head, breathe into the stretch. That feels good. And come up. Perfect. Back into this position, both ways, please. We're working shoulders on this one, so we're going to do some overhead presses. That grip is soft but firm, so fingers are wrapped and the thumb around them. And they're brought to the shoulder. Straight up. One, one two, two. Use your outdoor three, voice. Four, four. Good. Five. five six, six. Seven. Eight. eight nine. nine ten. ten. And take a break and stretch and breathe. Again, sitting tall, weights to the shoulder, chin off your chest, raise them up. One, two, two good, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. And on the floor, both of them. Extending a leg again. Trying to keep the foot on the floor, working some ankle flexibility in a straight leg. The arms are out. Open hand, palms facing forward as you twist, reaching for that foot with the opposite hand. Looking down at it, get as close, maybe you can touch it. The other arm is reaching up as if to change a light bulb in the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> and then come up. Now twist the other way, same arm as leg. Looking down at the foot always, good. And come up, beautiful. The arms draw, that leg comes in, tall in the chair as you twist, opposite first, reach down and hold it, breathe into the stretch. Good, and come up, and then twist and reach. This one seems to be farther away. <laughs> the arms dropped. We have water, or most of us do, so you know, continue to stay hydrated. If you need to get water, it's over there, but throughout class, just drink. We're gonna take it in a wide position, shifting weight, finding what you're capable of holding, knees over toes. The arms, there again, out, placing one on the inside for support, straight up. Twist toward the arm in the air. Reach for the ceiling, looking up at your fingertips in this hand is trying to find your ankle, maybe even the shoe or floor. Breathe into the beautiful, slowly return to this position. And then this one else on the inside, straight up, twist, reach, stretch those hands, fingers spread apart, good, and come up. The arms drop, heel, toe, Back into a very closed position. Feet and knees and arms here. Looking down, open the knees. The weight is on the outside of those feet. Like, like you bought shoes that are too stiff and you have to stretch them out. No returns. <laughs> so come forward and, and really put a lot of pressure on the outside. Beautiful. Yes, yes, right, John. Yeah, that's it. All right, and come up. Placing those feet here, take a deep breath. Exhale. One over the other. Tall in the chair, and the arms out from the shoulder. Reaching forward first, toe touches. See if you can touch One. it and come up. Two. Two. Up. Three. Three. Two more. Four. Four. Just don't bounce. Five. Five. Sitting tall, placing the other one on top. Tall, this time it's overhead, reaching out of the rib cage and over one. one. Up and over. Two. Two. Good. Up and over. Three. Three. 
four, great job, five, and there. So we separate the feet into once again a wide position, shifting your weight, finding what you are able to maintain, that and the arms out. Fingers spread apart for some heel taps. It's to the back of the heel. One, One two, two, good, three, three four, five, six, six excellent, seven, seven eight, eight, Nine, ten. And the arms drop. And we bring this back to a starting position, which is right there. Yeah. We're going to do some toe touches in the air so the arms are out from the shoulder. One, One and, and two, and three, and good. Four, and five, and six. Smiles are optional. starting position. Take a deep breath. Out through the mouth and the arms again out. Shoulders relax. Soft hands. They're just there. And then flex them. Pull them back. Three, Three four, four, five, five four, six, six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. Close and open. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, soft hands as you rotate palms up, palms down, up, down. One up, one down. Great job. Both up, the elbows close to the rib cage, and the arms extend like a shelf. Pull them back as far as you can. And relax. Just one. Palms up. The other hand goes underneath. Grabs those fingers. Gently stretches that hand. Good. Fingers up. Pull them back. And before we leave, make sure and read Bob's t-shirt. <laughs> Bob, you really should make me laugh like that. <laughs> Is that good or bad? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Shake them out. All right. They're out here. Palms face. In my classes, you'll see a lot of this, this open hand. Fingers spread apart. The arms extended. Fold them at the elbows. Close the book. Can the forearms touch in the hands? Yeah. And then open it. Push back. Bring it in. Yes. And open again. Close it up a little, extending both arms. Folding this one, placing it on the chest, but looking at this hand. Across your chest, down the imaginary sleeve, down that arm, trying to match up both hands and pull it out and unfold. Other side, it's here, looking, slide it across. And if I can do it with these long arms, <laughs> good. And there, good job. They come here and we're gonna rotate inward, inward so that the wrists touch, the shoulders are relaxed and the fingers touch. And then pull them back and wiggle. Yeah, it's a different stretch for forearm. Yep, there, good job. And one more. I always like to end with this one. So lift your chin, focus, gently pull that head closer to the shoulder. And then to the other side. No crack today. All right, that's okay. <laughs> it felt good. Keeping your feet in this position, we're gonna keep those weights on the floor. We're gonna use our own weight, our own body weight. So our hands are braced on the chair. This is an exercise for upper body strength. So our feet are on the floor wide just for balance. So try not to use any strength from your legs, but from here up. So they're here, the weight shifts, nose over toes. Lift your backside One. off the seat a little. Two. Two. Eight more times. Three. Three. <laughs> Four. Four. Good. Five. Five. Very nice. Six. Six. We can 
do it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Close it up. The feet touch, maybe, and the knees touch toward the front of the chair. Again, think of posture. And hold on. Lean back. Bring it up to the chest. It's one, one two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine. nine. Last one. Ten. So again, we find that place, allow some space. You can lean back and not touch. We need the weights. I know you thought that we were done, didn't you? Huh? No. <laughs> so, Trudy's like, she didn't forget. So we're gonna place them here, an open hand, feet flat on the floor, looking forward, extend a straight leg. Don't look down, but look out. Lift it up for 10, it's one, one two, two, good, three. three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now flex ten. that foot. It's One, up. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten. I remember, you probably remember this too, when Kurt and Nancy were here and we were doing a stretch in the air and I said higher. So instead of reaching higher, they went, <laughs> That's for you, you guys, if you're watching. So extend the other one out and raise it. One, one two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. ten. Toes up. One, two, two three, four, five, six. six good. Seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. And there we have it, back into this position. We're done with these. Promise. <laughs> promise. Yes, I promise. Um, on the floor or just out of your way, substitute that for tennis ball. And we use it to warm up our hands and our feet, especially your feet, because that's where your balance begins. And if you're at home or you're in class, you can take off your shoes, maybe even your socks real quick, you'll get a bigger benefit than wearing shoes. So sit tall and roll this. And then stretch the fingers. Take the ball and work it in between. Both hands. A soft fist, enough that that ball can rest on it. Extend that arm out, focusing on the ball. Bring it close to you and extend it out again. Eyes on the ball as you turn your head, taking that arm to the side. Good. And bring it center, extending that other arm, transferring it to that hand. Focus on the ball. Bring it close. Don't lick it, it's not an ice cream. <laughs> and then to the side, turning just your head. Good. Bring it center, both arms out, the hands, a fist, transferring it. Good. And then on the floor. Placing a foot a bare foot, a stocky foot, or one with shoes on that ball. Push down. Yeah. Ouch, John, ouch. <laughs> it hurts good, huh? <laughs> okay. And then the other. Push down and roll back and forth. Can you feel that, Jim? Sort of, yeah, a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Careful, good. All right. Take it, put it away. If you're in class, we just squeeze it back into the chair. We come back into the seat. For the first time, we get to actually lean against the back. The feet brought behind the knees slightly. Engaging those lower abdominal muscles, pressing against your spine, pressing into the chair. Maybe the hands on your hip bones. Arch your back. And then press into the chair again. Arch your back. Keep your shoulder blades against the back of the chair. 
as you press the small of the back into that chair as well. Good. And so keep it tight. Look forward, extending both legs out, feet off the floor, circle one, one two, two, three, four, five. five. The other way, five, five four, three, two, two, one. They hit the floor. They're kind of wide again as you pull them back and sit forward in the chair, rocking side to side, rocking yourself toward the front. Yeah. Give yourself plenty of room. The arms are going to be extended, palms up, feet on the floor. They stay glued, working core strength, lean back, and come up. So you've got to have room to lean back. Too close, it's, well, it's impossible. Yeah. So lean back. Good job. And up. Two more. Well, with this arm position anyway. <laughs> Good. Well, you knew that. <laughs> the arms out, open, stretch the chest, lean back. Does it feel different? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, it does. Yeah, open. Different muscles. Different in a, in a good or a bad way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and up, two more. Lean back, don't touch. Sit tall. And one more, lean back. Yeah and bring it all the way up. Great job. The hands are here. That weight transfers forward over your thighs, <clears throat> knees, and floor, looking down at the floor. Lift a heel. Lift the other one. Drop the first, the second. It's up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down. One more time. Up, up, down, down. Just heels. Up, down, up, down. Lift those heels up, place them on the floor. The position is nose over toes. So you've gone from here to, oh my gosh, look, look, look at that. Oh, yeah. Really cool. And then you want the weight to transfer to the ball of the foot as you come out of the chair and all the way up. Wow. Awesome. Bend the knees, the weight placed in the heel, back into the chair, back to this position. Always back to shoulders over hips as you transfer weight. Awesome, Charlie. And up. This one exercise is what makes my everything worthwhile to me. Don't make me cry. Again, up. Two more. Back into it. One more, it has to be perfect. Nose over toes all the way up. Oh my gosh, fabulous. Back down on, on eggshells, don't plop, don't plop, just, yeah, there, perfect. The fingers spread apart. They're resting on the neck, elbows open the chest. Twist, looking at that wall, and then this wall is a warm up for a seated crunch. So we're gonna twist, lift the knee to the opposite One. elbow. And, and up, two, two. And, and up, we're only gonna three. do five. And and up, four, four. And, and up, and five. the last one. And Great job, all right. The large ball is open. <coughs> So when you choose a ball, <coughs> make sure it's you know soft but firm. You know it's not. Hello, you come back here. You come back here. <laughs> All right. Do you have space behind you still? Yeah. Held with an open hand. The ball placed on the chest. The elbows dropped. Arms extend beyond the shoulder. Focus on the rim of the ball as you transfer your weight over your thighs and knees. Those arms don't drop, but they sure reach out as far as you can and hold. Two, three, three four, four, five. five. Coming up slowly, extend the arms overhead, lean back slightly and hold. Two, Two three, three, four, five. five. 
again, returning to that position, arms drop, track the ball, twisting at the waist, as far as you can go and hold, two, three, four, five, great job, now try the other side and hold, two, three, four, five, bring it here, and if you're far out enough, a lot of leg off of the seat, this ball, will be on the inner thigh, not on the knee, but on the inside. The hands resting on top, the feet may be touching. Again, posture, squeeze it. I'm running out of dollars, so I'm not gonna promise I'll pay you if you pop it. <laughs> but squeeze hard. Have you ever paid? No, no one's ever popped. <laughs> good answer, good answer. And relax, great job. Hold the ball as you separate the feet. We're gonna get out of the chair and we're not gonna use this again. So place it somewhere where it won't become a trip hazard. Everything we've used so far is either underneath the chair or on the seat. So again, we get to do a nose over toes and come up. But you can be the first one to pop it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. We'll be standing to the back of the chair with your feet in that nice wide position again. Fingers resting on the back. If you don't need that and maybe you only need one, then this one's dropped where it kind of feels that side seam on your pants. Focus forward as you rest, <laughs> lift, as you lift the heels off the Two. floor. Two. Good. Three. Three. Yes. Four. Four. Five. Five. Great job. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. Bring that weight to the heel and lift the toes One. up. Two. Two. Good. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six, excellent, seven, seven eight, nine, nine ten. ten, and shake it out. We're gonna do a little stretch. So you're all fine, but I'm just gonna turn a little bit like so. Again, arms distance from the chair, feet apart. The weight more on the ball of the foot than the heel, but the heel is still on the floor. You're gonna bend forward from the hip looking down, like taking a bow. Everybody's clapping. So take a bow. Your focus is on the seat of the chair. The head is in line with the spine. And you should be able to pop your heels off the floor a little bit. Most of that weight is on the ball of the foot. Come all the way up, shoulders over hips, over heels. Again, transfer the weight, look down, great job. And stretch it out and come up. Standing tall, the weight now on one leg. It's a soft knee. This one extends to the back. Think of a wall in front of you. As you bend the standing knee, this heel to the floor. So you want to sit into the stretch. Oh, a good calf stretch. Yes. And come up. Bring it forward, transferring the weight to the other leg. Bending the standing knee. And stretch it out. And come up, making sure. Charlie, watch the table. We're gonna do some kick. Definitely watch that cabinet. <laughs> John, you're gonna have a bruise. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ow! No, just kidding. All right, we're gonna do some kicks to the back. That's a bent knee, alternating right and left. So it's one. And what? Two. What? And yeah. Three. three. And, and four. on the inside leg. So shift that weight over, the hand resting on the chair, eyes off the floor. This is going to be knees up, alternating. All right, so it's up and up. 
So the cardio will be either standing behind your chair or you know walking around <coughs> it or doing it seated. So cardio is all about cardiovascular. So stay in motion um, and at home, stay in motion. You know, it's been really hot lately, right? So I'm hoping this will cool us off a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> what could it possibly be? <laughs> Stay in motion. Come back to your chair, you should be a little out of breath. very special weight. This is the last weighted exercise. So wrap your fingers around the weight, extending arms overhead, shoulders down. It's a forward reach with a flat back, and the weight drops one, between one. the feet, uh, and the arms return. Two. two. Uh, up. Three. Uh, up. Good. Four. four. All the way up. Uh,
all been waiting for.